by surprise Holy nation sanctified Let this be a battle cry Ready yourselves Ready yourselves Let us shine the light of Jesus in the darkest night And thanks again for enabling part of our congregation to go to Long Island, New York, to do some recovery work at that church with Peter Campo as the senior pastor. And uh, the ability to take their backyard and their side yard, which you saw was just loaded with stuff and junk that was washed in from the hurricane. And as you saw that back wall, that was like a storage room Here's the saddest part of that whole story is uh, the hurricane came on October 29th. And what happened? I, maybe I should just turn it over to these two sitting here. You can come and tell the story. But um, the hurricane came in, and they, up to that point, were in the midst of collecting toys to give to the children in the community. And they were stashing them in this back room all the toys that they had been collecting up to that point, and they even had some stuff for their Montessori school that they had in the basement that was in this back room. Well, that hadn't been touched since the day of the hurricane. And we went in there, a team of, well, part of our team went in there and just was pulling out container after container after container of muck seawater that had been sitting there since the first of November, you know, the end of October, and just ugh, old, now old toys, you know, just brand new toys now just totally destroyed. Filling up that dumpster and then another dumpster. Right, Chuck? And Chuck was deep into it, man. He was, he was swimming in this stuff. <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, quite the experience. And, uh, you know, Warren was busy 
building away in the back and getting that shed put into place, which would have been totally devastated and knocked over sideways and just a heap of mess. And you got to see how that all cleaned up by the end of the end of our week there and uh, got them a temporary walkway to go along that side so they could just uh, get from one place to the next and get ready for their annual Father's Day big barbecue cookout. Um, but it was a great time. It was really a good time. And uh, those who were part, David, if you want to stand, Warren, ladies, if you want to stand, they were part of that trip just so we can get a visual on those who are here this morning that went, invested a week of their lives into the lives of those who are hurting. The most inspirational thing is we keep getting letters from the church. We got to see Twyla. Many of you remember Twyla, who was the uh, associate pastor here for a while before I arrived, before Brian arrived. And uh, she's running, you know, the head pastor of a church up there in Middle Island Presbyterian Church. But we get these letters back from Twyla's church and from Peter Campo's place, uh, People's Church there in Long Beach. And these letters just go on and on saying, thank you so very much. And especially Peter's church, uh, a woman wrote back and said, you have given us inspiration to go forward because we didn't have the time to meet the needs of our own church because our own homes were in disrepair. And so for them to go to church and to see all this stuff, it just was debilitating for them. And for us to be able to come and give them a shot in the arm, it was really wonderful. And those of you who couldn't go but went in spirit and through support, commend you as well because that's the life of the church that's what we do we bring hope we bring encouragement we bring peace that's what we have in our scripture lesson